Hello everybody, this is Ariane from La Fille de la Mer and today I am presenting you a short video on how I made these unicorn rainbow wax brittle or wax barks. Um, this is actually some wax that goes into a wax warmer to uh, diffuse perfumes in your home. They are really, really simple and so much fun to make and they make a great addition to any shop. Um, I make soy wax candles, so my base is using wax, uh, soy wax. I'm using a blend of the Eco Soya brands, the Q210 and the Q230, and I went half and half. And I want to give a shout out in this video um, to Holly from Missouri River Soap because as I was researching how to make wax brittles or wax barks on YouTube uh, for tutorials and how-to videos, I stumbled upon her channel, which I already knew for all of her amazing and beautiful soaps, but I didn't really know the side where she made all the wax products. So. Um, giving her a shout out and you will be able to find um, her YouTube channel in the eye right there. In the eye right there. <laughs> You'll be able to find her, her channel in the little card up there somewhere and um, see more amazing videos on how to make them. But this was just my take on how um, I decided to go about and I decided to use the unicorn team because I wanted to make something with rainbows and we all know that unicorns and rainbows go together hand in hand. So let's take a look. So the fragrance oil that I decided to use for this unicorn wax brittle is the Island Escape from Brambleberry. It smells so yummy, fruity and tropical and to me that's what rainbows should smell like. So that's the fragrance oil I'm going to use. To make some wax brittles, you need to use some um, wax. My blend is half and half of the Eco Soya brand, the Q210 and the Q230. Um, the Q230 is a little bit uh, more firm, like it snaps easier when you wanna break it off. And I used a cookie pan and a silicone liner to pour my wax brittle in. And I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. But uh, one of the important things to remember is that if you want your wax to have aroma in it, you need to put quite enough um, fragrance. So my blend was 9% of fragrance oil into um, the soy wax. After melting my wax at about 175 degrees Fahrenheit, I added my fragrance oil and some Fizz Fairy Echo Glitter into my wax. Then I poured it into my silicone liner to have a white base coating. Once the white was firm but still warm, I started adding all of my colors, starting by the lighter colors and then um, pouring while they were hot enough so that the, the wax would bond together. So there's the yellow and the orange and and then I put the red and I just kind of like make lines along the side and try that every color show. I was kind of going randomly all over the place and just trying to get all of my colors to pop so that I would have a nice rainbow effect. After the three first colors, I added some candy sprinkles because unicorns need candy sprinkles. <laughs> Um, and then I added my purple, which was a little bit darker than what I wanted, but still, um, I think it looked nice, and I decided to go into another angle, and then I found that my wax uh, brittle was a little bit too dark, or too covered, so I added some more white before proceeding with the teal color, which I added in the other direction, so that like the colors would be all over the place. And then... The final touch to my wax bark, of course, was to add some more candy sprinkle. So I took some Star Decker um, candy and I placed them all over where the wax was still liquid and so that they would stick and adhere to the wax. And for the couples that fell off of the teal, I took a heat gun and I forgot to video that, but um, I just like briefly heated the candies that weren't on the teal so that the wax would remelt and they would adhere and stay put. After that, well, it was time to wait for that beautiful wax to set before being able to remove it from the silicone liner. Cool. 
Wow. Wow. Ah, la cool. <laughs> On va le casser, mais hmm, je sais pas si ça va. Ouais, ça casse. And here, in this last step, I'm simply breaking off the wax bark randomly so that I can then later put it into little bags and have it ready for resale. Wax chunks. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, so what is left to be done now is to take some of the wax bark and place it into a wax warmer. This one is an electric wax warmer. There are other ones that need to be lit uh, under with a tea light. I prefer electric because there is no fire hazard and you just break up um, the wax and you turn it on. There you go. Ah, uh, this wax smells so, so yummy. It is one of my Brambleberry all-time favorite fragrance oil, and sadly, I only discovered it in the past year. I wish I had known about this fragrance long time before. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, click the thumbs up button right below. You can ask your questions in the comment section below, and I will see you again very soon.